uh, if you'll notice on the highlighted piece inside the print control on the right that there is an XD as in dog. What this is going to do when you run a report for additional detail, financial account and transaction, sometimes people have information on a salary post that may contain personally identifiable, identifiable information that you don't want folks to see. So with that XD column in there, inside of the salary expense line, it's going to prevent people from drilling into that line. And I probably should have showed that option when we were doing uh, the basic demo and upfront. So I'm gonna flip over to Management Reporter and just show how I can come to a sales line and I can click on it and see underlying information. Here, only one account has data. But there could be an option in here, well, actually for the US sales, where you can see I have a couple of accounts and I can drill all the way down to the account level because that's what I set my provisional level to inside of Management Reporter, or sorry, the, the detail level, financial and account. I could go one step further and get to the transaction level. A book code modifier. Uh, this just shows additional level of flexibility within Management Reporter. So if you have uh, certain book codes, which are usually your budgets, and you wanted to do a budget layout that shows, uh, for, in this case, they have a budgeted income for uh, at the bottom of the report. Uh, on the top, they're using a book code for headcount. You can use your budgets within the rows. So if you have budget 2020 inside of uh, your Dynamics GP or AX software, you can use that here to pull budget versus actual and have just a running list down your row format. So account, book code, uh, and then your main account, and then you could have your actual and just do budget versus actual right down your row format. Departments in the rows. Um, like I mentioned earlier, 90% of the time you're gonna utilize your main accounts inside of your Row format. In this case, you'll notice that it's using our departments. And in the column layout is where it's grabbing our natural account. So this is going to give you a row format or a report that when you run it, it's going to give you a breakdown of information. Uh, so your, your gross margin, it looks like it. So it's pulling in the left column all, you know, it really in the in the in this example is showing all natural accounts. So it's going to grab the same information. Sorry, the question, question, question will make it so that it grabs every account that starts with a four. You could have done the same thing by saying four asterisk, uh, which would be the recommend, recommended option. And on the right, it's grabbing our net income where it's grabbing a total of all our 4,000 through 999 accounts, all done within our column layout. So you're gonna get a gross margin and net income for each department in a row list. And on the next screen, there is actually an example of how it works. So this is what it looks like when it's done. All right, next screen. This one is kind of a fancy option, and this was added again in a later service pack, but uh, in FRX, those of you that used to use that, you used to be able to do a forcing calculation to get your description to move up and over to the right. Well, in Management Reporter, you could do your numbers only. If you tried to do that with your accounts, account descriptions, it did not work. What they added was the ability, uh, you'll notice there in that highlight, the column break. So it's gonna let you run down, in this example, your balance sheet all the way past your assets. It's gonna put a column break, and then you'll notice on the bottom how the layout allows you to break your assets and move your liabilities and equity section over to the right in one nice display. This one's kind of neat as well. In the column restriction over here that's circled, you can see that it's restricting lines to B and D. In conjunction with the column layout, you're gonna end up having information so that it has the same type of column going across columns B and D. And then C and E are gonna have some different information to show the totals. So if you look down in the lower left, you can see 
for April, all of my account balances show in the left column, and then it breaks off the header in the total section over to the right. And you can use that by creating column restrictions inside of your row format. It just really tells it where you're gonna allow the information to display. <clears throat> account modifiers in the row. So we just talked about a moment, a, a few slides earlier, where you can pull book code modifiers in the row. Well, you can also do account modifiers. In this example, you can see in the drop down where you can pull beginning balance in the row. You can pull a period. You can pull a period minus X number of periods. So if you wanted to get a list of 12 periods going down your row format, you could do that by utilizing row modifiers. 